All right, then boom. What is up, everybody? It's me once again. Who else would it be? It's J Rod, the filmmaker, former filmmaker, frequent fighting gamer from Philadelphia. And I'm back to play some more fighting games today. It's a little unexpected, the fighting game that I'm going to play, and I have no idea how well the fighting game is going to work or if I'm even going to be good at it. But we're back again with more fighting games. We actually played some fighting games last week on the channel, a brand new fighting game that is not even out yet. 2XKO, the brand new tag fighter from Riot Games that was in early access. If you want to check out the gameplay, then go ahead and check it out. It's on my channel. We played it last week, and it was a ton of fun playing in the Alpha Lab. That game is really going to be a ton of fun when it drops. Like, I feel like if it's this fun already, then I can't imagine what it would be like once they continue to work on the game balance and they add new modes and they add new features and they get closer and closer to the full release of 2XK. But I also planned, I was like, all right, we got a brand new character in Multiverses this week, or at least I thought so. Beetlejuice is kind of sort of in multiverses he probably will be in the game for everyone by the time you see this and so my plan today was to play beetlejuice and probably also samurai jack in multiverses and do a new main alert with those two characters however they left something out they forgot to tell us one thing they waited until the release of beetlejuice to let us know that he's not available for everyone he's available in early access only for people who are willing to pay money and gleamium to buy him in the a bundle of sorts through the item shop so if you have no idea what gleamium is and what the difference between buying him with gleamium and fighter coins is gleamium is the premium currency in multiverses that means the only way to acquire it well not the only way to acquire it, but the main way that you acquire it is by paying for it there is a little bit of gleamium here and there that you can unlock by playing the game but because it's a premium currency, they're not just giving it out all willy-nilly. It takes a lot to earn it. When you do unlock it through game, you get little by little. So they can make sure if you really want the Gleamium, you have to either invest your money into it or you have to invest a lot of time into it. They just neglected to tell us that you will have to pay Gleamium if you want to unlock him in the first three to four days that he's out. And you will not be able to get him with fighter coins until Friday after this video would have gone up. So, my plan was to play Beetlejuice in Multiverses and to make that this week's video, but he won't even be out and available for me until after this video has already gone up. So we had to pivot, but luckily there was another game that dropped another new character. It's in a very similar uh, space. It has a very similar audience because it's also a platform fighter. It's also uh, some, ca some cartoon IP that we grew up in, and that is Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl two nickelodeon all-star brawl dropped their last dlc character uncle iroh i reacted to him last week as well and i didn't know this until after i made that video and uploaded it but he was available in game when that trailer went out like they didn't the reason there was no release date on that trailer is because he was just in the game they they kind of stealth dropped iroh maybe they had some sort of like build up to it that i missed because i'm not really following any marketing for nickelodeon all-star brawl anymore but Iroh is currently in the game, and he's the last DLC character. So now we have our full DLC pack for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, which is going to be Zuko, Iroh, uh, Mr. Krabs, and Rocksteady. So we decided to pivot, and we're going to try to play some Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 today instead of Multiverses. Now, I, I'm a little bit nervous only because I have never played this game online. I've played a lot of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 1 online but I've never played Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 online. And so I don't know how well it's gonna work. I don't know if the net code is good. I don't know if there's gonna be people online. I don't know if I'm gonna be any good at it. But, you know, the only way to figure out is to go online and to do it. Not only will I be playing Uncle Iroh, but I'm also gonna try to play Zuko as well. Um, I'm not gonna play the other two DLC characters right now, but Iroh and Zuko, I think, make a really good team, a really good pair, so we're gonna hop on and try that. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Let's switch over. Boom. We're going to be playing on Steam Deck today. That is where I own this game. Um, and we're going to see what we can do in NASB 2. The last time I played NASB with Avatar characters was the first ever time I went online in NASB 1. We made a video with Aang, Toph, and Korra. Um, and it was a ton of fun. 
Um, I feel like back then it was easier to get on because I started the game when the game was new. So there were a lot of other new players that were on with me learning at the same time. But I got bopped. I got bopped in that game too, you know, a couple of times. My Aang wasn't that good. Um, my Toph was okay. And my Korra, I think Korra kind of carried me because she was really easy to play in that first game. But, yeah, we're going to get into it. Nasby 2, we got new stages available. We got whatever that is. And we got our boy Iroh. I don't need to go into the store because I already have him. Um, and, all right, so here's the thing. I'm going to try to play online, but I guess there's a possibility that no one is online in this game. That happened before in NASB 1. So in that event that no one's online, then I guess we'll just go on and do like an arcade ladder with both characters. But we're going to try online first, so I'm scared. Damn, look at my basic ass player card. But yeah, from Gamescom, we reacted to Terry Bogart coming to uh, Street Fighter 6, Borderlands 4 that just got announced. Do I have a projectile? <laughs> oh shit. I should have a, oh, that's his, uh, his counter. I forgot about that. Okay, actually, you know what? I gotta use my Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 1 knowledge. I should be starting off with light attacks so that I can, um, you know, get the damage up pretty high. She's not dead yet. Why would you land right in front of me? <laughs> I want to get the damage up pretty high. And then also, like, if she gets knocked down, you're going to want to hit with light attacks to kind of pick them back up and combo. Ooh, nice. I think that's like her jab string. Oh, that's it. Okay. I don't have a traditional projectile, but I do have that. Dragon of the Please West. Please sit. And then... Why don't you shit, shit, enjoy shit. Don't die, don't a die. jazz? Iroh, what the hell? He was doing the team move off screen. That's not what I meant to do. No. Okay, so down special is the team move. I got to keep that in mind. Um, But wait, what is... Oh, is it down, it's down heavy that I'm looking for? Okay, I'm actually doing really good here somehow um i guess i was wrong about you know they're just being tryhards in this game online and oh shit that was cool wait but i can do this why didn't she block or dodge or do anything <laughs> she just let me hit her with this um, it's not gonna kill it killed what the fuck ember fight back fight back please wait hold on i need to do t right now because I need some health back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so how do I do T into... Shit. All right, wow, I wasted that. T into... Uh... Okay, so it's neutral special for the, the counter, and it's down special for the T. So I can do this, and then boom. Nice. I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, shit, she hit me. I don't remember what I was talking about before I started uh, locking in a little bit. Don't die, don't die. Okay, we didn't die. Nice. I'm so slow. Okay. I see you try you're trying to get me there. That's tricky. Oh shit. Wow, okay, so that move has a really good hitbox, but it's really slow to come out. So yeah, I have to do it like way early. Wow, that killed. Okay, um, you know, sometimes I'm just nice. No, sometimes, you know, there are other people learning the game as well. You know, I'm not the only person on here trying to figure the game out for the first time. So shout out to my first opponent. Okay, they did not accept the rematch. Well, we found a Squidward player. Okay, and then I think the last time I played Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 1, I was getting matched up with a, a legit pro player, Unicorn Gaming. Okay, all right, we got to feel this guy out. Let's start with lights, you know. Not commit to anything crazy. Oh, good block. He's blocking. That's that's already a good uh, a good show for him because he's, he's going to block more than me probably. 
Oh, I, I forget about that move. Yeah, also, I gotta try to, like, use more of my moves, you know? Nice. Also, do shields break in this game? Or should I be trying to... Oh, shit, hold on! Oh, wait, he's cooking! He's cooking! Oh, I could've hit that twice. He'll wake up. Mm-hmm. Good punish by me. Oh, hold. He left. That brother left. Y'all, th I, I y'all, this is my first time ever playing this game online. I'm not even that good. What is going on? Please just load. Oh my god, it loaded. Okay, it loaded. Now I don't care if this guy is a tryhard and I'm get cooked here. I'm just happy to have a match. <laughs> I'm just happy to have a match, y'all. Oh, nice. Didn't mean to do that. Damn. Oh, shit. I didn't know the dragons do that on this stage. Shit. Big whiff. Oh, nice. There's items up here? I don't know how to select an item. I was taunting. There's like no way he's gonna walk into that, right? Nice. Is that Asami's gauntlet from Legend of Korra? Shit. Nice, holy fuck, all right. I died, damn. I, as soon as I saw my health, I'm like, oh, this might kill me. No. No. Shit, okay, I still walk into that. Damn. Ooh, you fell right into it. You activated my trap card. All right, let's start off with lights. He kind of plays like how I used to play, which is a lot of heavies, and you know, if it, if it kills, it kills. What the hell was that? Something was weird there. But I feel like you want to start with lights so you can beat out those heavies. Why isn't he getting up? What is going on? Where is that man? Is he dead? Like, is he really dead? <laughs> Not the character. Is the player dead? When the dragon goes back, he's gonna die. Where did this guy go? I'm going ghost! There is nothing wrong with letting people... What happened? What happened to this game that I used to love? Obviously, it always had its problems, right? But damn, I feel like they made NASB 2, and now it has a whole bunch of new problems. Well, since Danny wants to play dead here, let's make him real dead. He was doing good, too. I don't know what is going on with the brother. I mean, I don't like, is this a netcode thing? Did his controller die? Or is it just that people get easily demoralized in this game and then they just quit? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it started, this started off as a fun, nice match, right? I don't know what happened. Ooh, cabbage. Delicious. Let's drink some tea. Well, um, shit. I guess we don't really have a choice anymore but to go and play the bots because the people online are acting like bots. So I don't think we're going to get any good online matches. I got to be completely honest. Let's stay on our toes anyway. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Angry Beavers. Holy fuck. You okay? You all right, buddy? 
You okay? You alright, buddy? Alright, fuck it. <laughs> Let's just go in. I don't really remember how to play Zuko. But I'm just gonna go with my, you know, start with the lights. Once you get him to high damage, hit him with the strong. He's like, he's not blocking. All right, fuck it. Oh shit. What is, what is, what is, what is this game? What is this game? What is it? What is wrong, bro? I don't know what the fuck to do. Hi, Zuko here. Hello, Zuko here. Okay, okay. Hi, Zuko here. I guess I can't. Maybe he picked the. I was gonna say maybe he picked the wrong character the first time, but what the hell, SpongeBob? I get it if everyone on this game is like 12 years old, right? It's a Nickelodeon game. That's fine. But damn. This game used to have like... I mean, it still does have a pro scene. There are pros who still play this game. We reacted to some pro level gameplay. Where are they? Are they in the lobby? Oh shit. I got a lot of damage on me though. Okay, he's going for it. Let's... Bro, what are you doing? No, big motion, come back! Big motion! That's rough, buddy. Big motion, please. What is wrong with people, bro? Wow. This is like one of the craziest experiences I've had trying to play a game online for New Main Alert, and not even for the reasons I thought it would be. Why did why did he rematch? Why did he rematch? Should I have picked a stage for him where he can't fall off? It's like this is not even me playing a fighting game. It's like I'm babysitting. It's like I'm watching someone else's kid right now. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Bro, can you pass the controller back to your brother? Or whoever is the adult in your house. Face me. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Swing in. Face me. Prepare yourself. Face me. Prepare Literally yourself. face me. If you're gonna do an attack, just face towards me. Alright, you know what? Let's not wait for big motion to fall off the map. Let's knock him off ourselves. Let's just do it to him. Okay, okay. Maybe he was smurfing. I don't know why. I'm getting my hopes up. That this man was smurfing. I know he's not. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna bait him. Psych. Okay, I, the bait did not work. I tried to run in and run back out. Let's do it. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, let's teach him how to block. Watch this. Boom. Block and punish. Okay, he's swinging. Block and punish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Wait, no, you're learning! How do I throw the swords? At least, look, at least I hit him before he fell off, you know? Big motion, um... Go put, go do your homework. <laughs> That's my advice to you, Big Motion. Go do your homework. <laughs> he knows for a fact this is like the first time he ran into a human being that isn't 12 in years. But if I do manage to beat him, I'm definitely going to take that win and run. Okay, well. Why am I up here? Uh. Okay. 
how I can attack to avoid stuff, avoid OTGs. Why wow, I gotta stop doing um heavies. How did that miss? He was on the ledge. Why was he still invulnerable? I mean it's obviously obvious bro knows how to play the game more than me, right? But this is literally my first time playing the game online. <laughs> so that's pretty obvious. Ooh, I should start with that. I'm just whiffing it though. Oh, let me try to block that. I can just like block his shit sometimes. He can hit me with that on the ground? He can OTG with the heavy? Heavies aren't OTJ though, maybe because I'm not going far enough with them. Okay. Zuko here. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? I should have recovered immediately, but... Shit. Got your ass. Why am I facing the wrong way? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Send him some of these. Okay. Zuko here. Whoa, did I do like a tech roll? Oh, so if you block and move, you get a tech roll or like a dodge roll. Whoa, I wasn't using that. Was that a heavy down or heavy up? Walk right into it. Oh fuck! That could, that could have killed him. Shit. No. Fuck. God, I wanted to humble him so bad, bro. He's so ass. He's just lucky I don't know how to play this game. I almost clutched it on him. It is not fun. Okay, wait, hold on. I need to preface that. It's not that the game itself is not fun, but the conditions of the online gameplay right now is not fun at all. Because like, you're either going to get someone who is... Whatever the top rank is called in this fucking game, you're gonna get a grandmaster SpongeBob player who is just taunting, or you're gonna get someone who doesn't play the game at all or doesn't know how to play the game, so they throw out three attacks and then they quit, right? And neither of those are really fun or accessible. Um, like, I, if I really put some time into this game, I'm pretty sure that I could figure out the mechanics, learn like what the slime does, learn the defensive shit, and how to tech roll and air dodge and shit, you know, avoid getting juggled. Um, crazy. I'm, like, if I knew what I was doing, if I had more than two hours in this game online, 
I'm pretty sure I would have been able to beat that SpongeBob player in ranked, but it's not a fun experience. So why would I want to even put that much time into this game? <laughs> like it does have all the things on paper that people said it needed. Hold on, let's switch over to the intro screen. Boom, do me a favor really quickly and hit me with the three hit combo. Smash the like button like Iroh, spear the subscribe button like Zuko and kick the notification bell like Kazuya. But on paper, this game has everything that they said the first game was lacking, right? It has it has cross play, it has voice acting, it has single player content, it has a ranked mode, um, it has more characters, and yet it still does not feel like a full complete experience of a game. So I think it goes to show that like a lot of people, the way that they talked about that first game and they were like, well, the game is good, but it's not, no one's gonna take it seriously if it doesn't have voice acting or the game is good, but no one's gonna take it seriously unless it has cross play or unless it has this or that. No one thing is gonna make a game into a full fledged finished product that everyone just out of nowhere loves, right? The one thing people love more than playing games these days is talking shit about games. Everyone has, everyone's a critic, everyone has a complaint and every, like more people love getting on a bandwagon just to shit talk a game that they don't even play and that they would never even try to play in a million years. And I think a lot of that peer pressure and a lot of that uh, complaining and naysaying about the first game caused them to kind of rush to making the second game, thinking that they give the players everything they want and ask for and that people will love it and that the player base will be there. And it's just not... It's not there. Like, there could be a lot of players who just didn't feel like transitioning from one game to another. They bought that last game. They probably bought the DLC and they didn't feel like it was up to the par and it was worth the money that they put out for it. So why would they give out the money again for another game experience just for it to feel half baked and not fully there? And so they left behind players. They left behind characters. Um, in my opinion, the first game played a lot better. It was a lot faster paced. Yes, in some instances, it was a lot more volatile <laughs> and broken because of that faster pace. But it was more fun, in my opinion. Where, like, in this game, yes, there's, like, a bunch of defensive mechanics and things that I don't know about. So I can't say uh, fully that, you know, it's the game's fault and not my fault. But a lot of times I do feel like I'm literally just watching my character fall from the sky super slow and just hoping and praying that they land in a good spot so that I can keep doing stuff. Like, it feels a lot more, I don't know, it just feels a lot slower and it feels a lot more sluggish, stuck in the mud, dragging your feet. And even when, you know, someone knows what they're doing in this game offensively, like the combos are not as fun to watch. The gameplay is just not there as much. But that's not to say that I hate this game. I don't want it to succeed. I don't want it to get better or any of that. Because I, I actually like playing this game. I, I have a lot of fun playing this game offline, you know, playing like the, the arcade and playing against the bots and picking up a new character and learning them and just mashing their buttons. It's probably a really fun game to play like couch co-op with. I know the first game was, but I've never played this one in a couch co-op setting. Um, it's probably a really good like party game to play with friends and to just mash some buttons because it has a really like low barrier of entry. So I could see that that, you know, I could see that being good for the game. But the online experience is just so ass. <laughs> it's just not there. Then again, we live in a day and age where you have a lot of choices. You have a lot of options. No one is forcing you to play this game, even if you consider yourself like a, a diehard platform fighter player who loves cartoon characters from when you're young. You can play multiverses. And then when Multiverses pisses you off, like it did this week for me, you can go play Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 1. And then when that pisses you off, you could go play Smash. There's Slap City, there's Flash Party, there is like a whole bunch of other games that you could be playing. So I would suggest people just focus on the games that you like. Don't try to force a game you don't like to be something else just because you want to play it. There's Brawlhalla, there is... Uh, Divine Knockout, there is Flash Party, like I said, there is Slap City, there's this game called Fantasy Strike, that's like free, there is uh, Vita Fighters, which I played, that's free, there's Roof Rage, which I also played at the last new game alert, that is really fun, and I think it's super underrated, there's Rivals of Ether, which is an insane fighting game, and they're coming out with their sequel, so I, you know, 
I don't think that this game has to be the game for me as far as like the online experience. It's not something I would do again. Let's just say that. There's probably not going to be any new characters in this game, but even if they do come out with a second DLC pass, I don't see myself buying it. I don't see myself trying to play this game again online because I, I think the ship has kind of sailed on this one. But check out my Gamescom live stream as well. I will also be doing a live stream, I think, on Sunday. I'm going to try to catch the end of Esports World Cup for Tekken 8. And I think that that's on Sunday. But if not, I'll, I'll put a correction somewhere in this video. I'll edit it. And um, yeah, I think that's all that we have planned so far i don't i don't have any other live streams planned as of yet but you never know because we have uh mortal kombat's dlc update chaos reigns right around the corner coming up next month then we have terry bogart coming to street fighter 6 next month we have uh there's a dlc update for starfield next month i'm trying to play some more borderlands games before borderland 4 drops and yeah who knows and then december like i said marvel rivals is dropping um there's a new tv show called secret level that i'm very excited for and a lot of other things coming soon so that is going to be it for this one you guys let me know how you felt about the gameplay <laughs> let me know how you feel about iro i do think iro is a really cool character i love the way he's designed even though i didn't really get to show it off as much as i would have wanted to i like the design of iro and of zuko and if you want to see what i would suggest they do for an avatar the last airbender fighting game i did make a video talking about what characters i want to see in an avatar fighting game and how i want those characters to play um so that next I think it's next year or is it 2026? They are working on an Avatar fighting game right now. So whenever that drops, I can't wait to make content for it. And let's, hold our, let's have our fingers crossed and hope that the player base for that game sticks around a little bit longer than for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. But that'll be it for this one, you guys. Let me know how you felt about this one. Tell me if you feel me. Tell me who you want to see me play in another video. And I'll see you next time in another new one. Peace out. Let's get it. Oh, a new stage too. Pow Pow Cafe. Ooh. Mm. Damn, look at that down heavy punch. Oh, <laughs> look at his projectile. Is that going to hit low? Oh, his alt skin. The fatal.